Hello drone lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is KM. Well, today I'm going to demonstrate a difference between uh, low P gain and high P gain. Basically, I try two different ways of tuning. One is to let me demonstrate. Okay, first uh, let's take my Mark IV HD5 KM drone, which I uh, personally uh, design and uh, choose the parts to assemble so let's connect it to beta flight okay so basically what I'm going to do is to show you the difference of this uh, pit uh, with a, a high, the maximum P gain that this guy can uh, take and the lowest P gain that he can take and also for the D gains uh, and I'll compare the, the flights uh, uh, with the low P gain and I'll show a slight video of uh, the flight on a higher P gain to see how much prop wash that is. So if you're interested, please continue to follow this video. Okay, welcome back. I am now going to compare the two uh, pit profiles. Now that I've connected the quad to the computer, let's connect it. Okay, so right now let's go to pit tuning. Okay, the latest setup for this is profile one. This is when I, I, mean, I have tried the lower P, which is hovering around 50s. Uh, for this video, you can see from this uh, video that it is, uh, it is running at lower P's and then a D gain or D mean gain of about 40. So this I'm using the sliders, keeping the master multiplier at one. The PD balance, I try to maximize it to get a higher D, whereas the PD gain is just 1.2. The stick gain is just to have more feet forward uh, for a more better uh, responsive stick feel. And uh, because I want the lower stick feel to be more syn uh, uh, freestyle, I set the tra feet forward transition to 0.7. So this is uh, okay. So for the other flight, which is the one I'm going to show first, is on profile 2. Profile 2, I ran this flight with a higher P gain, around 80s. Okay, and the D gains or uh, D min is around 30 to, 30 to 40 with a D max of 50s. Okay, this one, I use another method of tuning which means I start with the lowest PD balance and then I increase until I see that it's a responsiveness on the gate of the P, that the P does not uh, wobble and then I stop there and then I will increase my PD gain until I get a uh, uh, good enough um, prop wash handling okay for this one I didn't care much about the stick feel so I just left the stick respond gain to 0.5 keeping the feed forward transition to 0.7 okay so comparing this flight okay now I'm playing this flight as you can see from the flight footage of uh, profile 2 Okay, this you can see from here. Okay, nah. You can see from here. It's pretty good in terms when it's coming down on the dirty air. It's still quite stable. But there's a bit of prop wash. Okay. At certain times it's pretty good. But of course it's all boils down to how you fly. If you can avoid the downdraft, you can avoid the uh, dirty air when you're coming down, that would be great. But here I'm trying to simulate as much dirty air as possible to see how much pop wash handling this quad is uh, able to withstand with a higher D. Okay. So uh, let's now have a look at the video of the profile one which is this uh, game and uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, take a look at the whole video if you can 
and uh, in the midst of the video I'll be also sharing the rest of the tuning of my rates and filters okay thank you and have a nice day